Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how you convert your grocery store in Shopify to an app through App Maker. So let's get started. This is a basic grocery store, let me show you how you can convert this to an app. So first you need to go to your Shopify dashboard. In here go to app and in here you can go to customize store, so it will redirect you to the Shopify app store. Use the search bar and search for App Maker. As you can see, the second option is App Maker. Click on it. And in here, click on Add App. And now on this page, scroll down and click Add Sales Channel. You can do this by clicking on this plus icon also. Click on it and scroll down. And you can visit the Shopify App Store and you can search from there also. As you can see, App Maker has been opened and here you can make your app. This will be the home page with all the banners and grids. First, I will remove all these and show you how you can add all banners, grids, image scroller. First, I will remove this block. I will remove this one also. So to add banners, on your left hand side, you can see banners, grids, all that. I will grab this banner and drop it here. Now you can see a block has appeared. In here you can see Upload, Media Library, Insert from URL. Click on Upload and upload your banner. I will add a banner here. Now you can see the banner has been added. To move this banner you can see an arrow key in here. If you click upward it goes up and if you click downward it goes down. So I will move this to the top. Below that we can add a grid. As you can see grid has appeared. You can add an extra grid in here and on the right hand side you add columns. If I go with 4 then I can add 4 columns in here. If I decrease those numbers you can see how it looks. And if you click on that upload image icon you can upload your grid images here. So I will add some grid images here. You can see I added some of the grid images here. If you click on these products, on the right hand side, you can see App Maker Action. First, you click on this category or this block, which is milk and dairy. After that, on the right hand side, you can see App Maker Action. Click on the drop down menu and you can see many actions here. So for this, I will go with the open collection, and below that, you see one more drop-down menu appeared. If you click on it, you can see all the collections here. I will select the collection according to the grid. For now, I will select this. So if you click on this category on your app, it will redirect you to the collection page. Like that you can add an action for all these images. And if you click on this banner, in here you can add an in-app page. And in here you can click on the home. Below that I will add a slider. Grab this and add it here. I will move this down here and if you click on this plus icon you can add sliders. You can see we added a slider here. And you now can add images here. I will add some of the images. Now you can see I added two to three sliders in here. You can also add action in here according to the slider. Below that, I will add one more banner. So I went ahead and added some more blocks in here. Now click save page to save this page which we created. Next, I will create an in-app page. To create an in-app page, click on this new page and you can add a new in-app page here. First, let's add a page title here. I will add Masala here. Now I can add a banner in here, below that we add a slider, like we did before. We can add action in images. Below that we can add a grid. I will add images for the grid. 
I have made a few more additions to my page. Click on Save Pages. Now on the left-hand side of the dashboard, you can see the app menu. If you click on the app menu, you can see all these menu items here. I will show how you can add this menu item. First, I will delete this and add a new menu. By clicking the Add Menu Item button, on the right-hand side, you see Menu Title and Menu Type so I will add home as a title. And on the menu type, you can select title or menu item. The title will be non-actionable type and menu items will be actionable. So if click on the menu item, you can choose an action from the dropdown. I will add home. Below that you can see the menu icon. Click on open library. Let's add an icon for the home menu. After selecting the icon, click on Add. Now you can see your home menu has been added. If you grab this menu item, you can drag this to the top or bottom. And also you can make this to a subcategory. Let's move this to the top. Like this, you can add a non-actionable title here also. And now let's click on Save. Now let's go to the Update App section. Click on the Update App. First, it will ask you for the app icon. Click on the Upload icon and select the app icon. On the right side, you get a preview of your app icon on both Android and iOS mobiles. Click on Next. Here it will ask you to upload the launch screen icon. Upload the launch screen icon. You can also change the background color. And then click on Next. Here you can customize your app style. After customizing, click on Next. On this page, you can add the drawer header logo, push notification logo, and login logo. Let's add the logos here. After adding, click on Next. In here, you can add this option to your app setting by enabling it. Now let's go to the language settings. Here you can add or delete this language. In the search bar, you can search for your preferred language. If you want to remove your language, click on the Delete This Language button on the top right corner. Now let's click on Save Changes and then click on the Build app. Once you click on the Build app, the page gets refreshed and the app will start to build. It will take around 5 min to get ready. Now your app is ready. Click on the preview to download the app file for the Android version. I have downloaded the app file from the dashboard and installed it on my Android device. This is the icon of the mobile app we have created. Let's click on it and see our app. This will be my homepage as you can see all images are in the right place. Click on the menu and see how it looks. Let's click on this icon here to see my products. As you can see, all products are here. Now click the product. You can see Add to Cart button and Buy button here. You can choose the number of products needed. Just click Add or Minus. We have a wishlist tab. Customers can add products to the wishlist. Also, you have the option to add coupons. And that is how you make your Shopify grocery store into an app through AppMaker. To know more, check out our website, www.appmaker.xyz.